Welcome everyone to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Today I'm going to bring you an all-in-one skillet meal using what I found in my pantry, Raymond noodles. So we are going to be calling this the Raymond noodle all-in-one skillet meal. Okay guys, go grab your Raymond noodles. If you don't have Raymond noodles, that's okay. You can use whatever kind of noodle you have in your pantry. It's just going to cook just a little bit longer than what these Raymond noodles will. Okay guys, Grab your skillet, grab some ramen noodles and some more delicious ingredients, and we're going to build this up for you. Okay, so when you think of all-in-one skillet meal, we're talking our pasta, our meat, we're talking veggies. Now, I'm going to be starting off with some peppers. Now, I've taken two sides off of a green bell pepper. You can use the different colored ones. And I'm just going to dice these. And then, as you can see, I've got some sweet peppers right here that we're going to use. And what that's going to do is give it a lot of color into your dish and make it really pretty. Because, you know, that's what people like, right? We eat with our eyes. All right, so I'm going to be cutting them like that and then just cutting them in half, just like that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be so pretty in the dish. Cut around the edges here. Take another red one. You can kind of slice it long ways if you would like, and that way when you cut they're already in those half pieces. Oh, there's an orange one. Now you're going to want about two cups of veggies all together. I am going to be putting broccoli in this dish too, so just keep that in mind. We'll do another yellow one. All right, we're going to do an onion, so I'm just going to cut off the ends here. Gosh, onions just add such a flavor when you cook it with, like, ground beef. Okay, we're going to take off this outer layer here. Just cut it in half. And then I'm just going to run my knife through it three quarters of the way through to the back end of the onion. So I'll just make some slices. And then just drag your knife through it. Then you'll get even cuts. Right, in a large skillet, we're going to go ahead now and add about one tablespoon of oil. We're going to start heating that up. Some salt and some pepper. Okay, we're going to saute these down. Probably take about five minutes. Now, you know all the options you can do with this, the vegetables you can use for this. Just as long as you cook your vegetables, that'll be good. Let's go ahead now and brown our meat. And I'm gonna, we're going to do it all in one skillet. So what I'm going to do is push my vegetables off to the side here. I'm going to add my ground beef. Now I've got about one and a quarter pounds here. I'm just going to break it up. Okay, guys, if you don't have one of these, 
I'll link it down below in my description box if you want to check it out. It's a meat chopper. It's really good for ground meats like chicken, beef, pork, turkey, anything that's a ground meat and it'll help break it up into pieces. Okay, now as soon as this is browned up, I'm going to bring you back. That looks really good. Okay, you want to drain this at this point. Now, as you can see, as I'm pulling this back, my lean meat really did not have any um, excess fat to it. That's great. So what I'm going to do now is start making our sauce. Okay, so I'm going to use one packet of the beef flavor that came out of the noodles. We're going to add three cups of some beef broth. We're going to turn our heat on high so we can go ahead and get this to a boil. All right, we're going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce. We'll put about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Now, if you want to add some more flavor, I've got some sriracha here and I'm just going to put in like a few droplets. All right, let's stir all this up. Make sure you give it a taste. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. Okay, I'm gonna start layering in my noodles here. Now, I'm using three packages of these. Okay, so it comes in a block like that. And you just wanna kinda of break it up. Okay. I'm gonna add some broccoli into it. Probably about one cup. Okay, what we're gonna do now is continually just stir this until the noodles are all cooked and nice and soft and the broccoli is cooked through. Now that was frozen broccoli. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get all my noodles broken up and into the sauce. And all of these noodles will absorb all of that liquid that's in there, so making a nice skillet meal. Okay, just kind of make sure that everything is pushed into the liquid. Now just keep in mind that Raymond noodles take just a few minutes to cook. We're talking two to three minutes, okay? So I'm just really wanting the broccoli to be just cooked through, heated through. Now if you want to use regular noodles or spaghetti or you know the dumpling noodles or anything like that, just know that it's going to take a little longer to cook in your pan there, but it'll turn out wonderful. I've made those plenty of times where I've made one skillet meals with regular pasta and that, so yeah, I'll, I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. Give it another minute or so, it should be done. All right, we're going to go in and try our pasta here. Mm. All right. We're going to turn it off and then we're going to let it sit for just a few minutes and finish absorbing all of that liquid. Okay, my one skillet Raymond noodle dish. Look at this, all those delicious noodles, the ground beef, the vegetables. They look so delicious, don't they? Who's not gonna wanna eat that? And you saw that sauce come together. So, okay, let me go in for a bite for you guys. Mm. Those flavors came through so well. 
Don't be scared of that sriracha. You saw how much I put in there, and it's not burning my mouth off at all, but it adds another little flavor to it. Oh, you, okay, you guys. <laughs> Go get you some of these if you don't have them in your pantry and stock up. These make wonderful one skillet meals. I have another one out there also, and I will link it down below for you guys. Okay, I have two other dishes right here that you can go see. I'll follow you over there. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. Give me a thumbs up. Always give me my comment, you guys. You know I like to answer your comments. Okay, I will see you on my next episode.